Hi, it's uh, Kevin May, the Chief of Focus Wire here at the Focus Wire Conference. Welcome to our studio. You've just come off stage. We wanted to pick up on a couple of different bits and pieces. It says here that you text with your customers in real time. What do yes. you mean by that? Sure. So customers don't want to call the call center to get support right. throughout the journey. So what we do is, for text messaging, we text enable their number, either their long code or their toll-free number. And rather than call, they can text in for support. And the agents that normally answer the phone calls can actually text back with the customer. Now, we do this not just for SMS, but for other messaging platforms, such as WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, WeChat, right. et cetera. Um, we'll come to those in a minute. That, that, that's interesting. So how do, so there's a, there's a human and a technical element to this then. So there's yeah. the, the text part, and then the human takes over, as you say, at the other yes. end. Do they sometimes not text back, and they actually just pick up the phone and say, it's a lot easier if I can just have a conversation with you? Um, there are some things that uh, the customer may say, we've done enough on text, I actually want to call you now. Right, okay, but, I, but, I'm, I'm done with yeah, texting. But what the yeah. agents, what, what the agent might do is be trained to sense that and say, hey, rather than us to continue to text, I'll call you, yeah, because I have your number because I'm texting with you, I'll call you direct, 15 okay. seconds. The way you would with your friend when you're making plans on the weekend, right? You text with them and at some point you may decide that you want to just call them and you call them, hey, I'm calling you now. Right, okay, okay. And so give us a customer list, who do you work with? So uh, we work with customers across different brands. Yep. Uh, we work with, in retail, companies like Burton, uh, Intelco, companies like T-Mobile. Okay. Uh, we work with sports teams like the New York Mets and the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, uh, what about here in travel? So we work with Lyft, among okay. other companies. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because everything they do is mobile based anyway, right? Right. So how, how does that work then? So the text element kicks in a certain part of the interaction? Yeah, they've decided the times when they actually want to use text messaging with us. Uh, yeah. We work with lots of vendors, as, as most companies do. Yeah. Um, and, and there are certain points in the journey where they're, where they're going to use us. Okay. So you talked a little bit about other platforms. So how have you had to uh, adapt your own technology in order to kind of service and work within those platforms? Sure, so what makes us really special is our ability to integrate into CRM. And that allows us to change workflows or go along with existing workflow. It allows us to attach to data objects and make assignments, for example. Um, and so we do that across different CRMs and different platforms. Okay. So we connect on the one side the CRM and on the other side the different messaging channels. We can right. also integrate into chatbot functionality or machine learning AI functionality. Um, you know, we're not going to be the best of breed chatbot or machine learning tool. Lots of companies, many of them are here, they're going to do that, <laughs> industry specific. Um, but what I can be the best at is that CRM integration and supporting customers and really being the business advisor. You, you work across many industries, which, yeah. is, which is which is great in this kind of context, because normally when you talk to them, they're only focused on one thing. So you've, you've learned a lot yeah. from other sectors. So to tell us, Dan, what, what have you learned from another sector that you think is going to help you as you, you know, hopefully in your case, conquer this one. Yeah, great. So, uh, I mean, one thing that comes to mind is um, the way that sports teams are using us actually is really interesting. They use us in the sales process. Okay. So with an agent, for example, selling tickets to a game mm -hmm. feels a lot like an agent selling flight tickets or hotel tickets right. or experiential tickets. Um, a lot of the learnings from that might be rel very applicable, uh, things that are not being done right now uh, in travel. Um, and then I think in general, you know, customers want to engage in their channel of choice. They don't want to call anymore. In fact, you know, some have said they'd rather sit for a root canal than call customer service, right? <laughs> um, so with that being said, you give them a channel they want to use, and that's going to be the same across because people are people. Um, and so we believe that there's a tremendous opportunity in travel across airlines, hotels, OTAs, mm -hmm. travel agencies, and all the players in the ecosystem, a tremendous opportunity to engage with their customers in that way. Okay. And where does this all kind of, I mean, text me you know, the, the fundamental element of a text message, it does seem very 1996, doesn't it? You know, text, it me does. text messages have been around yeah. for a while. I mean, we talked about the other platforms, but where does this kind of go next, do you think? Yeah, so our idea is that we've created a, sort of an agent view in each CRM, so the agent doesn't know the difference between the different messaging channels. They don't really care. They do what they have to do. Yeah. The customer experiences it as they want. Interesting about SMS is that customers, we thought it was the end of SMS with you know SMS one-way marketing, and perhaps it is, although my SMS messages over the weekend would indicate something <laughs> otherwise. However, when it comes to a two-way conversation, the time is really now, 
for SMS. And I believe that this is going to be a very popular channel, continue to be. Moreover, it is teaching the other messaging apps how to engage with their customers in the kinds of functionality they have to build in Messenger and WhatsApp and WeChat so they can yeah. compete with SMS. Okay, Dan Gester, thank you very much. Thanks for joining thank us. Thank you.